Okay, guys, I've got something really special for you today. Really, really scary, actually. I'm going to do a huge flip cut pour on this 40 by 80 centimeter canvas, uh, 16 by 32. I think that is in inches. So, uh, yeah, exciting. Um, but before I start, I'll show you the colour scheme that I've chosen for this big bad boy. This is it here. Turquoises and gold. Does everyone seem to like that one that I did? So I'm going to go and see if I can do a big one. Probably won't because, as you know, it's much easier to do a little one than it is a big one. But, you know, I like a challenge, so I'm going to go for it. This is a... 1.5 litre plastic container. I've given it a light spray with my silicone oil. I've got navy, gold, black and like a teal colour. All global paints today. And I've mixed those with my glue and water mix. This is glue all. You can use school glue if you can't find glue all. It works just fine. Uh, they're all mixed one to one except the gold. The gold is thicker. I've mixed one part pouring medium to one and a half parts paint. I've got about somewhere between 1200 and 1300 grams of mixed paint. And I'm going to pop my silicon oil in. There's about um, roughly about somewhere between 280 and 320 grams in each cup. I'm going to do eight. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can have ten because you're bigger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. None in the gold. One, two, three, oops, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think a couple more fell in. All right, there we go. Roughly. Kind of one drop per 30 grams or one drop per ounce is sort of what I like to do. Now I'm going to have to stir this really well because all the silicone is sitting on top. So I'm trying to get it to go down to the bottom as well. Now I've done the three second rule. I'll climb up on the ladder and show you in a minute. If you've missed my three second rule in previous videos, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It just helps me work out my consistency. Well, I know my consistency, but it helps me show you what my consistency is. This one feels a bit thick. I did add, I use this thinning mix. It's um, one part Liquitex Flow Aid to 10 parts water, just tap water. The black. I used less paint and more pouring medium because the blacks are always thicker in my experience. Um, all right, I'll show you this three second thing. All it means is it leaves a ribbon for three seconds on the top. Let's see if I can show you. One, two, three, it's gone. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, so all gone. Hopefully that's the right consistency. I may have erred on the side of caution and added a little bit of extra thinning mix just because it's a big canvas. Okay, I'm nervous. Um, usually I start with black, but in this one, I kind of lost all my, my navy. The navy is a semi-transparent. So I'm actually going to start with some navy in the bottom. I don't really know how this is going to work because it's such a big surface. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. It's probably just going to fall straight through. But I'm going to try and drizzle. Oops, it's probably not enough gold actually. There we go. And then some black because I want the dark colour against the, the gold. If I've got some black left, I, I did make up extra black. I'm going to thin it and just pop it on my corners in case I don't have enough 
paint or I get too chicken to go over all my corners. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. So I knew I was going to add, use about 1200, 1300 grams of mixed paint. That's why I thought, okay, well, you know, a 1.2 litre container will be fine. Usually, you know, one gram of paint is equal to one gram of water or liquid. So I'm hoping that it will fit. You can see the paint's relatively thick. It's kind of staying in it where it's put, you know, in its lines there. It's not blending too much. Hopefully it's not too thick. I don't know why I'm doubting myself. I've done this a hundred times. I know the consistency. I guess I'm just a bit nervous because it's such a big canvas. I was going to go and do the groceries and then I thought, no, I want to do this. I didn't want to wait. So when I've done this, then I'm going to go and do the groceries. So <laughs> hopefully it works. You know, if you don't have a nice pour, you're kind of in a bad mood for the rest of the day, aren't you? Well, I am just upset, you know, angry with yourself for wasting all that paint and the time and the money and the canvas. Well, I am anyway. So hopefully it works. And I can go and have well, not a nice time grocery shopping because, I mean, come on, who has a nice time grocery shopping? <laughs> Unless I guess you make a day of it and go with a friend and go for a cappuccino. But I'm on my own today because I've... What's today? It's a Tuesday. Everyone else is at work. I've just got the day off work today. My roster's different every day. All right, that's that turquoise gone. That one was coastal turquoise. Um, now, I think I'll leave the black. I should have put the gold next. I don't want to have gold on the bottom. Doesn't matter. I've got more gold. I did make up a little bit of extra gold in comparison to the colours. So I've got about the same amount of black and gold and then slightly less of the navy and the turquoise. All right, nearly there, guys. You know, feel free to fast forward if you don't want to watch me layering 1.2 kilos of paint. Look at me. I'm in a mess here. I should have got two cloths to wipe my hands. Okay. Let's finish off this gold. Just fits, hey? I'm not going to flip it over, though. Can you imagine me trying to flip this over? I'm going to pop the canvas over the top of it and see if I can flip the whole thing over. My gold's not too thin. The things that go through your head. I'm worried about my gold being too thin now. Right, so that's going to sit there for a minute. I'm going to add a splash of my thinning mix. And just pop this on my corners. This is an old canvas anyway. It's one that I've used a couple of times already. So I've just covered it. All right. Adrenaline's pumping, guys. Getting closer. Oh, God, my hands started to shake now. Why? Why? Why do I get so nervous when I do these big ones? It's because everyone's watching and I don't want to fail. You know, we don't want to fail. We want to do a good job. If it fails, you just won't see the video. And then you'll never know. Okay, I've got my little tool. Oh, I should have probably flipped that before. Hey, doesn't matter. We should have flipped the canvas over before I put paint on the edges. Won't matter. And I've gone for a similar shaped 
container as you can see. Now I've got a long thin canvas so I've gone for a, a long thin container. I'm hoping that the paint will go over the edges. But I can always make up some more paint for, for my sides here if I need to. I don't go over the edges, but I don't think there's any reason why I won't go over my edges. I've got plenty of paint. But just having that black there, just in case I don't. Bit of a safety net. Okay, you guys. I'm ready. Ready, ready. Okay. Move everything out of the way. So that was my black, plain black. A metallic gold and of course my deep space that's empty now I need to make some more I can make that one myself okay spread out stand back pull my pants up pull my gloves down okay let's see if I can oh my gosh how am I gonna even do this I've got my push pins underneath I'll put that there we go oh I did it oh, I haven't marked my I haven't marked my puppy pedal pads as I normally do I'll make sure that's still in frame and then I'll just mark the corners oh yeah it's pretty good pretty good touch okay um I'll just mark that so that I know where to put it back down when I start picking it up and tilting it. Oops, running out. I need to get a new new texture. Texture, Sharpie, whatever. <laughs> we'll call them textures in Australia. Let's move that up just a touch because when I flip it over, it's going to come this way. Please work. Please work for me. Now, I got a container that was big enough for me to grab onto. I thought, you know, if it's too big, then obviously I'm going to have to do, sort of use two hands. And I thought, well, that's really going to be awkward. So I've got one where I can just grab it and hopefully just flip it straight over. Hello, little cell. Hi. Okay. We don't need to wait any longer, hey? Let's just do this. I have no idea how I'm going to flip it. I think I'm just going to flip it over like I normally do and see what happens. Ready? <laughs> I'm not ready. Okay. Concentrate, Julie. You can do this. Okay. <laughs> I lost quite a bit over it. Oh, no, it kind of went that way. That's okay. That's okay. Look, it's almost gone. I've got a little bit left. I don't really want to use that, though, because it might be muddy. Actually, let's just, let's just pop a little bit here. Just there. That can just sit there. Okay. Now, I'm going to do what I normally do. Tilt to cover a little bit of the surface. And then... Torch. Okay, back to the middle. All right, now I'll get my torch out. Just trying to avoid lines by doing a big one, big cup, one big container, but got them anyway. I don't know what's going on here. Might have been a little bit thin my mix, but let's see what happens. It's always a challenge when you do something bigger, something new. It's always more difficult, I find, doing big ones. Bubbles. 
take a while to torch this guy, so fast forward if you don't want to watch. It's going to take a while for the heat to travel through all this paint, bring the cells up. reacting strangely. Torching, torching, getting the cells up. It's a big area to torch, hey? and you're going to get caterpillars if you get too close. So just keep going round and round in circles. don't think I'll be able to tilt that off. I'll probably be able to get a lot of it off, but not all of it. It's not, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe my gold was a little bit too thin still. We'll see what happens once I start tilting. Go and get some nice big cells for you guys. You like big cells, don't you? We all like big cells, and we cannot lie. Okay, I think that's probably about enough. I can always come back and torch afterwards if I need to. Let's leave it at that. I do want some background. Now, do I need a corner catcher? I might do, we'll see. Plenty of paint, probably too much paint actually, so I might not need a corner catcher. Let's go over here first. I really like this, that there. So go over this corner. And get rid of that. Come back. Okay, one down, three to go. Um, I, normally I would flip this around, but I don't think I'm going because it's too big and it's too heavy and I've got so much paint on here. You just bear with me while I go down to my next corner. Take your time, guys, when you're doing this. Don't rush it. Take the paint to where you want it to go. Okay, two down. Two down, one to go. Okay, it's going to torch a little bit up here now that I've thinned that out. a bit of a swirly thing happening aren't we I was debating whether to do like you know five flip and drags and I thought no that's easy I've done that let's go for something hard let's do let's go crazy and do a one big container silly woman hey eh? what were you thinking all right now I'm just getting the weight of the paint to about here and then I'll change direction. There's no point me tipping it down there now because the paint will go off the side. It needs to come down here and then you change direction. Be 
you can see where it's going now where the paint's flowing hopefully the rest of it's not being overstretched too much just can't do anything about that I do want to lose some of this big blobby gold bits though but not too much because then you know it overstretches everything it's always always tricky when you're doing a big canvas everything tends to get more overstretched as you can see now back to the middle it does look as if my gold is a little bit too thin it's just flowing way too easily it's making wiggles I don't know why I added much more gold than I did of the pouring medium so I don't know why it's doing that see how it's going wiggly not my best work guys <laughs> oh dear it just did not work the way I wanted it to work oh look see look at the see the gold cell see how it's gone wiggly I knew I knew that it was too thin I should have stopped and made it thicker Okay guys, I was about to scrape this and re-pour and then I thought, um, how about I do a swipe over the top of it just to see what happens because I'm going to scrape it anyway. So I've just added, made up a little bit of black and let's pour it over the top here. Let it run down the back. Okay, now I'm going to grab my sheets of plastic. And a bit of paper towel. Got these left over from when I did a, a workshop, so I'll just pop that there and that'll catch my, my paint when I bring my plastic down. Just these plastic sheet. Let me see if I'm going to get two out of that. If I don't overlap too much, I should get two out of it. So let's try that. So I'm not going to touch right at the very back. Come down just a little bit. Shoe fly. Go away. If you go too close to the edge of the canvas, you kind of bald it. So just touch your black if you can. And straight down towards you making sure that one foot's behind the other so you don't fall over when you get halfway through go away fly what do you want my, with my painting now I'm gonna have to overlap it because I've missed it over here so I'll overlap it a little bit Wait till you've got good contact and you've got black all the way across on your piece of plastic. And I've got a slightly darker section in the middle there, but can't be helped. Move my cups out of the way. Um, what am I going to do here? I'm just going to have to go on the very edge there. I'm going to make sure that that's touching as well. Um, 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 I'm tempted to go over that black bit. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let me just throw this plastic in the sink. Because I've got quite a dark area of black at the top there and I don't have really many cells yet I can tip this it's got a lot of paint under there probably had way too much paint actually for that pour that I did so I'm going to get rid of some of that bring my white back again um, I couldn't get to those two corners 
but that's okay those little corners there will just be a little bit darker all right now let's torch and see what happens i think it's still going to be a very dark painting but i thought oh we'll just do that instead of scraping it straight away see if i can perhaps rescue it have been blurred so much I may not get very bright colours coming through you know the gold's been mixed a lot we'll see see what happens just like playing around with them I'm not going to give up on a canvas that fast it's usually usually you can save a painting by swiping Whether or not it'll be something that I'm happy with is another question because you can see the cells coming up but they're really quite dark. They've, the colours have just blended a lot. So kind of gone a bit muddy. And they're not very big cells. Uh, obviously because when I do my flip cut mix I use a much thicker mix than I would normally use for a swipe. So the cells that are coming up aren't going to be huge. I'm just playing now, I'm just having fun. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to rescue my painting. With little cells like this, sometimes it's a good idea to do your little balloon dips if you get small cells like this you know if your mix is quite thick um, you can balloon dip them oh look I'm getting some gold through my black there quite a bit close there as you could see Maybe a, a good painting to do some balloon dipping only because the cells are quite small and I may get some lighter colors through if I'm lucky. I'm not going to get much in these corners here which are quite dark. Probably should have gone over that black with a piece of card it's a bit, oh, I guess not too bad, I've got some darker stripes, so it's not the only dark stripe. Alrighty, I think that will do, I'm going to get my glove and do some balloon dipping and just see what happens. It's kind of, um, Night Before Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> Is that the name? No, Nightmare. Nightmare Before Christmas? It's dark and mysterious looking. Right, let me grab a glove. I've got one here. Oh, it's still blown up from a couple of weeks ago. Alrighty. Um, yeah, I mean, you could if you wanted to, just leave it like that. But... Because I'm most likely, well, 99.9% .9 sure I'm going to scrape this because it's just too dark now. I'm going to balloon dip um, and just see what colours are underneath. Um, now, oh, do I want to do the big balloon or do I want to do the little um, fairy kisses? Let me see if I've got a little balloon. Oops, that's a big one. What a little... I just have to take my gloves off to blow up a balloon. The little tiny water balloon. You guys are probably saying, leave it. Leave it. It's okay, isn't it? Like it's <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. I mean it is it is quite dark. But the gold's pretty. It's gonna blow up my little balloon. I'll do some little balloon dips first and just see 
how it looks and then I'll probably do some bigger ones as well so I might do a combination of bigger and smaller so you need to find an area that's got cells like in a circle and then you go into the middle of that area and that makes the little cells turn into petals mm. oh, but way too much paint way too much paint on the surface it's, it's so thick all right it's not going to work i'm going to have to go with the big one the big boys still a lot of paint on the surface see how it's puddling back into the center so what you could do is you could wait you know six hours come back tonight dip then or as i'm going to do i'm going to go over a few times and that see it picks up paint each time and again so every time you do it it picks up a little bit more paint and there you go so i've got some of that turquoise coming through there maybe it'll look like fireflies maybe i can call it fireflies because it looks like a night night forest so I'm going to keep as much gold as I can um, and dip here where it's a bit darker and try and get lighter colours through. That's what my plan is. And so I'm probably going to go like two or three times. Actually, I quite like that one. I'll leave that one. Get rid of... Actually, I can, I can dip onto that again. Waste not, want not. Go into that area there just to break up that black line a little bit. This is fun. I do like the balloon dipping. I don't know what happened there. Got a bit of a weird shape there. Go again. Okay, now that has had lots of dips. Let's get rid of that one. And I've got another one here. It's always good to have a few ready to go. You may have to come back to them if you find that they're starting to look a bit wriggly as the paint's flowing back into the center. Just go back over them again. Now, I like that dark area there in the middle, so let's go straight into the middle of that one. You can see how the paint's dripping as I lift my glove up. Try not to drip it back into the painting. There's a lot in this area. I just keep going. Should push down a little bit harder on that one to make a bigger flower. There we go. And I think I want to leave the corners dark, dark and mysterious. I'm just going to do one more about here, and that'll be it. I, I don't like to do too much. May just increase sort of incorporate that line just to break that line up so about there it's quite dark under this one so far not much coming through there what do you reckon have i saved it will i still scrape it I'll go and do my grocery shopping. I'll have a think about it. Come back. See what it looks like. It's okay. Like, you know, as I said, it's dark and mysterious and, and spooky forest looking. I'm going to go over everything once more just to get the paint off.
and then I will leave it. Okay. This one's this one because it's on the edge there. I've got a little bit close to the edge there. So what I need to do is I need to pick up some paint from somewhere else and put it back there. Unless I can have a little bit of gold, maybe. And a little bit of blue. Scraping these out. Just because near the edge of the canvas there, that's where um, it tends to go a little bit bald. Because now the paint's flowing down into the centre, so your edges will always bald before the, the, uh, the centre. Alright, I'll have one more go at this guy and maybe try and incorporate a few more cells so push down a little bit harder Let's see if that'll work mm, not really missed this edge okay that's better um this guy i'm not happy with i'm gonna have to go big big on him all right push down i'm gonna have to sort of go around as well i think okay making up worse now all right step away from the balloon woman i'm gonna pop it there we go now i can't use it anymore that one kind of went a bit wiggly see now i want my balloon back i want to fix that <laughs> oh dear no um i wonder what it would look like with some little guys what do you think a few little ones don't know whether or not i should probably shouldn't again you have to go over it a few times until you take away paint that's flowing back into the center like that uh, I might just do just a few I have drip there see how much paints flowing back something that you really should wait and do a few hours later after the paints had a chance to start setting up and drying and soaking into your canvas um, I'm just going to do one more just because just to balance it oh, I would have to pick the dark section hey it's too dark down here dark in the depths A little bit of gold in there. This is probably a very long video, isn't it? That's okay. And a little bit of navy. Alright, that'll be the last. I'm over it. I'm tired. I'm over it. didn't do anything I just picked up all the paint that I just put on there all right leave it alone it was a play um, yeah I probably won't keep this but hey you guys got to see me do a fail pour wish I could fix this one here that one's bothering me I'm going to I'm gonna blow up another balloon one sec. 
if I make it a big, um, a big balloon, then I'll be able to get to all those other areas. And I like to use these sort of yellowish gloves rather than my clear gloves that I use when I'm pouring. These ones are just um, softer. So I've blown that up quite large. Oops, put the knot in it. Struggling with the knot. There we go. Like a cow udder, isn't it? Okay. Um, probably going to ruin it, but look, hey, I'm going to scrape this anyway, so make sure that you get your fingers out of the way, otherwise you end up loose, um, having like a long line in there where the finger was. I'm um, just worried that there's not enough paint there now. Oh well, let's do it. Straight down. Slowly up. Okay, that's better. Not wonderful, but it's better. I think I might make them all that big. And because I don't want to take off too much more paint, I'm just going to go over with the same paint. Make them all a bit bigger. And you're missing some paint so you can go back on with the thicker paint. There we go. Voila! I'm happy with that now. I am. I'm happy with that. Who wants it? Anybody want it? I've got so many paintings I just want to give away because I don't really, I'm not that happy with them. <laughs> oh dear. You are not too bad now. Yes, you are. I'll call it, um, is it Nightmare Before Christmas? I can't remember. I'll call it Nightmare Before Christmas. All right, let me take you down for a close look. Oh, that was a long one, wasn't it? Or maybe just fireflies. Let me turn my light off. Fireflies. The cells are pretty. Oh, here goes my camera again. Keeps changing colours. It's because there's a light over on my left. There's a window there. So pretty cells. Wow, it's far from what I started with earlier, isn't it? With my big flip cup container. That's pretty. Got some. It is. It is pretty. You know. The only thing is, it will dry a little bit darker. But then the gold will shimmer as well when it dries, so it should be should be okay. Some areas are a little bit darker than others. And we have got that pop of turquoise coming through when the balloon dips. So just little cells today, as I said, the mix was thick, so little cells which I find lends itself more to balloon dipping. Um, I can still see the background. I don't like it when the cells are just everywhere and you can't see any background. So there you go. I'm exhausted. Now I'm going to go and get my groceries. All right, I'm going to go and do it. Stop whining and get on with it. All right, thanks so much, guys. Appreciate all your love and support. Hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you've learned how to maybe save a failed pour and have some fun doing it um, actually this would look really nice with a coat of gloss because it's so dark i may do that i'll put the photo up see what you guys think if you like it i'll keep it and gloss it and if i don't get many comments i'll just scrap it and paint over it and do my big flip cup again all right i'll see you later bye for now